Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sun Tarot once again. Let's throw them down for somebody. Who's next? Universal sends somebody flying. Just give it a second. Capricorn. The universe has decided that it is your turn to receive your September round two reading. So, this reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, just keep in mind. Time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and be vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fireside and Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here at my table, and I appreciate you stopping by to say hello. Thanks for coming down. While you're here, if you think we're going to get along and you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you've been hanging out for a while, thanks for coming back. Hit the like button. It all helps the channel, and it is greatly appreciated. Okay. Sorry, I had to write something down. Okay. Two things to go over before we invoke the cards and throw them down for you, Capricorn. One, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't recommend it. I don't care if it's my cards or anybody else's. Just don't do it. If it's coming down to a situation that's going to fuck your universe up if you make the wrong choice, just go inside and sort it out. Two, it's not your reading, not your story, not your message. If the cards on the table aren't yours, it's not vibing, leave them there. Walk away. Might not be your reading, might not be your story, Not might not be your message. It's not going to be for every Capricorn, every time. That's not how this works. Okay? It's general. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me again. I appreciate you, and I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Capricorn to their highest possible spiritual good, put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Capricorn, why are you here? Look forward to reversed. Are you left in a state of something possibly being unfinished? Can you not close out a cycle? What's up? What happened? Queen of Wands, give me a fire sign you were dealing with. Specifically Leo, which just happens to also be associated with this card. It is associated with all fixed signs. Also represents the planet Jupiter. I mean, you know. Yeah, so. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Present energy, nine of pentacles reversed. How do you go from the queen of fire? Uh, I'm going to shut up and just lay cards out. Okay. Alchemist upright. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. First card out is fire. We we'll use the steampunk to catch the energy of the person you're dealing with. Universe source spirit guides. Can I get to the energy of the person that Capricorn is dealing with, please? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. Oh, snap. Okay. 
total opposites as an outcome. But we'll get to that in a minute. Why are you in this weird codependent energy? I'm feeling, I'm, okay. I'm not feeling like you just don't want to be single anymore. I'm feeling like codependency. Don't want to, don't want to close the cycle. Don't want to close the cycle. Okay. Okay. Universe, source, spirit guides. Any clarity for Capricorn and the person they're dealing with, please? September 2021, round two. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Ace of Cups. It was new. It was fresh. It was different. You came. You saw. You conquered. Seven of Cups and you had options. And you knew which one you wanted. And you went after the one you wanted. I'm leaving it at that. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here for the now? Eight of Wands reversed. There's no communication. One more. Three of Wands reversed. Maybe you feel like that ship's never going to come in. Maybe you don't know what you're waiting for. Three of Swords, maybe you're a little heartbroken. Oh, shoot. Okay. Def Leopard. I forget what the song's called, but I know how it goes. Have you ever needed someone so bad? Have you ever wanted someone you just couldn't have? Have you ever tried so hard that your world just fell apart? I know the title of this song. It's somewhere in my brain. I can't think of it right now. I think it's called Have You Ever Needed Someone So Bad? <sighs> huh. All right. Yeah, there's definitely some codependency going on here. Why is this emperor reversed here for the past for the other person? Why the emperor reversed? Nine of Pentacles upright. Vulnerability. Just want to be single. Six of Wands reversed. Maybe their last relationship didn't go so well. So they were still very vulnerable. Just wanted to be single. But you saw the cup you wanted. You saw the potential. You went after it. I don't think it ended well. This overall of the reading could be they have unfinished business. They haven't closed something out. Why is the high priestess here for the other person for the here and now? Why the high priestess? Two of cups. Knight of Wands reversed. Oh, shit.
Knight of Wands reversed for me. Um, also, for, for me, for me as a reader, just because, you know, doing the book work, um, commitment. Whereas the Knight of Wands in the upright is extremely noncommittal, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is ready to hang the saddle up. One more. Have you ever needed someone so bad? <clears throat> Temperance Tower. That is a tower that is not bad. That is a tower that is not bad. That is sudden change in a situation. With the High Priestess, the universe moved something for them to bring in peace and harmony. And that something was not you. Oh, Cappy. That's why you're heartbroken, because you can't have them. Oh. But you feel like there's something left closing out. There's something that's not closed. There's unfinished business. You don't understand why you can't have them. Binder. Six of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Nine Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune, Upright, Knight of Swords. I literally think some, some of you may be like waiting to rush in, waiting for this disaster. I don't see this tower as being a disaster though. Either the universe is going to move something out of their way so they can be with this new person. Or the universe is going to move the new person out of the way so you two can be together. Either way. Cap, I don't know, man. They're ready to hang up the saddle with somebody else. That's how I feel about that. You're waiting for disaster. It's like you're trying to rush in before this closes out. Because you feel unfinished business. I don't know. What's the immediate future look like? What's the immediate future? Why is the alchemist here? Why is the alchemist here? Queen of Cups. One more. Ace of Swords. Moon reversed. You never told them how you feel. Was this like a friend zone thing? I'm feeling like this was a friend zone thing, Cap. Like, they weren't ready for anything serious because they were still very vulnerable. 
And you, like, kept the lines of communication going, and you, like, waited. You waited for your opportunity, and you never got it. That's why you want it, but you can't have it. Because you let it stay in the friend zone. You never told him how you felt. In the immediate future, before this... Okay, you're going to come rushing in. You're like... It's a perfect, it's a wonderful relationship. It's a perfect, wonderful relationship. It's a friendship. And you feel like you're going to lose your opportunity if you don't, like, act now. And you're in the immediate future, you're going to manifest a way to finally open your mouth and say how you feel. But you have to, you have to, you have to come in speaking your truth and you don't know how. It's like that fog's got to lift and things have got to be illuminated. Why is the three of wands here? reversed for the immediate future for the other person. Three of Pentacles reversed. Or sorry, three of Cups reversed. Three of Cups reversed. Oh. Three threes. Super weird. Restless energy. Three of cups reverse. Three of wands reverse. Seven of pentacles. Why? Thank you. Five of swords reverse. They don't want conflict. They don't want conflict with you. They don't want like a separation of a friendship. They're restless. It's like they're almost afraid that if they go for this two of cups, that it's going to destroy your friendship. They don't want that. So it's like they're holding off. They're trying to avoid conflict with you. They're waiting. What are they waiting on? What are they getting sick of waiting on? What are they waiting on? Seven of Wands. Stand up. Rise up. Rise above, conquer fear, conquer fear. One more. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. <sighs> They're waiting for the Pentacles, they're waiting for the effort. But they feel like you're never going to put in effort. They feel like they know you're never going to say it. You're never going to express emotion. It's like they're waiting for you to express something and say something. Huh. Okay. Okay. Super weird. I'm also with this tower temperance side by side. For some of you, it could be like, uh, things are going a little bit too well, like it's impending doom, which super, super horrible energy to be in. Don't do that, cross watcher, please. Shoot. All right. Outcome. Why is the four of pentacles here for cap? Thanks. Death. Change. Transformation. Not letting go, so you're allowing the death cycle to occur, but you're not letting go. Seven of Swords, you're going to speak your truth. You're going to speak your truth. You don't want to let him go. This is going to evolve. Chariot. Chariot. Six, six swords reversed. Return. I like it. I like it. Coming back in with truth. Riding back in with truth. Crossing that river. Wait! That's four pentacles reversed here. What are they letting go of? Two of Wands. 
Five of Pentacles, letting go of fear. Letting go of fear of letting go. Letting go of being let out in the cold. What are they throwing in the towel on? Nine of Wands reversed. Walls tumbling down. Walls coming down. Knight of Cups. Take it a cup. I'm leaving it. Ten of Swords. Five of Cups. Emperor reversed. When we are vulnerable, we need to process the pain and emotions that are going along with something painful and allow painful cycles to end. World, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, before we can begin anything new. Ace of Cups reversed, Ace of Wands reversed. You can't start a new cycle until you end an old one. So don't get all up in your head. Or death cycles can't happen and good things can't come to you if you don't allow bad things to leave. You have to allow for cycles to end. I'm leaving it. Bye. I appreciate you. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys next time.